on the show today. David O, now a certified chief. Ben Ro, spill the bean. American rapper Cardi B shuts down Nigeria. Sean's Ghanaians. Jewish word dies at 21. Etinosa taking skit making too far. Olamide frowns at Niger music politics. And now, meet your host, Sydney Shaw. Another 30 minutes of non-stop action on our social media space is what you're up to right about now. So if you're ready like I'm ready, I'm saying welcome on board. Welcome to Social Trend. My name is Sydney Shocker. While we stand, let's hit the ground running. Boom! Let's go there. If you ask me, David O has achieved virtually everything every man on earth dreams achieving at such a tender age, 27. Sold out concerts, good music, endorsement deals, famous, wealthy, and just locked down one of the prettiest girls in the country, Choma. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you think that's enough, the check is out, man. He was just made a chief some weeks back. A far away as I like a high chief. Can you be that? With all the success in the world, man, a chief included. Ha! Huh. If you ask me, that is a typical example of is a good time. David O seems to be having such a good time. Just as his album implies, every second, as he was conferred with the Chitons title in the Boozer Land at Sabatelto State on arrival for a concert weeks back to the amazement of everyone present. <laughs> Just like he said, it seems as though he possesses some magical powers, as whatever he touches turns into gold, something like having the Midas touch. Or how else can you describe his sold out concerts overseas, multiple twin endorsement deals, not just for him alone, but his wife to be Choma and even his little baby boy, Ifai Adeleke, a baby he just recently revealed his face through a 150 million naira icebox customized diamond encrusted 30 BG necklace. David O is no doubt having such a good time living his life once again like his new album title cover implies a good time. Though sources close to his camp claim the much anticipated album isn't doing very well regardless the record is broken on both Spotify and the Billboards, Dave isn't having it as he's putting every machinery in place in order to actualize its success. While another school of thought claim that this is the reason David O snapped the concert at Far Away Just, dubbed Just Chillin' and set it for the Asaba concert and that of Lagos because of the impression Just wasn't the perfect place to hype the album. If this is true, only time will tell. But what we know is true if the report which says the Just Chillin' organizers are demanding he refunds the appearance money he was paid and damages or else. I think you all can fill in the blanks. Homie seems to have what's called the Midas touch. Anything he touches turns into gold, man. Boy, such a fortunate brother, man. Yeah. Now, check it out. Marriages in Hollywood, to me, I think is something like um, an impossibility. Yeah, like it just doesn't work out. For real. We've seen marriages are packed up in less than a month, two weeks, one year, name it. Now, one amongst such marriages is this one. I'm about to drop on you guys, man. I'm talking about that very lovely marriage between these two couples, Beru and Osas Igodao, right here from Benin City. I was at the wedding. There were no doubts, an item, and love birds. One couldn't help but notice. Hence the wedding at the best Western View Hotel in Benin City was the talk of the country as it was televised live by Hip TV and myself on ground to cover for my platform, ITV, the Bero Osas Igodao wedding. So you can imagine the root shock two years down the line when we land on social media, the marriage was history. First, it began as a speculation no one was willing to accept and later started becoming clearer with encrypted posts from both parties on social media. 
and then, which later led to an all outburst by Benro, who claimed Osas neglected her home and baby virtually on a daily for her work, thereby leaving him with the burden of catering for the child, which in Africa is supposed to be the other way around. He went ahead, accusing her of taking more seriously her job, appearance, status than her family, and that he was fed up. He actually asked her to choose between him, the family, and her job. This trended for a while, with Osas saying little or nothing to either counter the allegation or buttress it. And for this reason, let's say they were able to manage the story for the beats. But like the old saying goes, nothing goes hidden under the sun for love. The very disappointed Benro stormed the program, rubbing minds weeks ago with Ebuka, where he spilled the bean, confirming it was all over between both of them long ago, even before the outburst. We're not together anymore. You're not together anymore. Wait, at what point did this happen? At what point? Yeah. So you separated or divorced? Divorced. Divorced. Right. Oh, you were fully divorced, right? Um, since when was this? Uh, that's how far I can tell you. Well, it's been on, it's, it's for a while now. Hmm. So, what has the very reserved and calm Osas Igodao have to say? Shockingly, as I went collating this report, nothing has been said for my ends. Making one wonder if this wouldn't end up being another Tiwa Tiwbi situation, where one is continuously talking, while the other is mute, signifying I have moved on. Too bad, man. Too bad. Homeboy spilled the bean, and he said, like you heard there, it's over. They divorced. They moved on, man. Oh, man. Wish them the best, man. Yeah. We wish them the best. And nothing else. Such a trend right here on ITV. We got inside the Sydney Shocker delivering and reporting all the happenings on our social media space right to your viewing pleasure as you view the show. Whoa! Some people don't know when they take things too far. Like, so far away. Yeah. It's cool when it makes you laugh. It's cool when it trends. But when it is extreme, when it's taking too far, it becomes a problem. And such people, I think, happens to be our own sister down here from Edo State, Etinosa Idemudia. I don't know if she knows the meaning of taking things too far. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Controversies, they say sell a brand faster than a bullet. The likes of Tone to DK, David O, just to mention a few, can testify to this. But when taking too far, deliberately or subconsciously, is when people start to wonder if everything is okay with the individual, mentally or otherwise. That's the exact situation with Nollywood actress, Etinosa Idemudia, who for the opting time triggered the social media space with a very inflammatory skit. This time around, smoking cannabis, popularly dubbed we or Igbo, wrapped in the popular page, she taught of the Bible, Proverbs 22, 6, which says, Train up a child when he or she is young, and when he or she is old, would not depart from. She actually blended this by saying, Nobody can blame my mother. She trained and trained and still training, and I'm still the pattern. Proverbs 22, 6 is a scam. Why using the Bible as an art tray? And like you all can imagine, this didn't go down well with lots of people, especially the Benins, who are of the impression she embarrasses them at every given opportunity. Like this fella right here. It's your sir. It's a so blood within your body, so eh? you need to stop her. Eh? Are you naked for him? So you have call 50,000 for live video. They disgrace us. We are no people. They disgrace us. We get a walking guest. No, you, you must do the gram. You must do for gram. You, what did they worry you? You be bin again. You be bin again. They be the rich. You want to do a process, the rich. Oh, Libya, Italy, London, they try to package back. You got all the gold. They put the ash of Bible. You apologize to us. Well, if you think she stopped there, then you have another thing coming as she promised to use a page from the Quran soonest as she was dared by fans to do so. And trust me, this angered this Islamic poet right here. Oh, no, sir. Oh, it's your sir. I don't know. The message is just getting to me. Yeah. Give a message to her. Why 
What you just tried? Etiosa! Etiosa, Etiosa. What you just tried? With, with your Bible. Just try him with Quran. Try him. If I back up, Gaga, only book Gaga, just let it be. I'm back up. Let it start one. If you don't strike you within some days, in two shape, but Bible, if you don't try him with Quran, you be bad. No be your mama born you. I'm telling you hundred percent. Kill of him, pay. I don't know what has come over you. I don't know the scushion you are. I don't know the gege mo that is driving you, Gaga. That is making you go, Gaga. I want you, I want that game mo, that every boo to drive you to your back of Gaga. I'll go on in love with me, that's book, love me, because it's a good thing. Oh, yeah, my queen, I'm going to get Ha! And believe me, you, we secretly prayed she doesn't. For we all know, through experience, that die had consequence if she dares. Don't you have to claim she won't do it if given 10 million naira? It later came as a rude shock to realize she was doing all of this. Just to raise up publicity for her upcoming movie titled Game Up. A movie she came back on social media soliciting funds for to tour about three cities, including Dubai and some cities in Europe, in order to promote the movie. So, this brings the question to mind Does Etinosa Idemudia realize some skits are better off not going too far? Um, I deeply apologize for the video of me that went viral some days ago. I would never, in my right senses, disrespect anybody's religion, beliefs, culture, etc. It's such a trend, my brother, my sister. Good to know you're watching and good to know you're viewing. Live on ITV, on our satellite broadcast, 107, Go Television, and 130 Star Times. Now, trends happen and break every now and then. Hence, we have this spot on the show where we take our time and treat all that has been trending all week long. So if you're ready for another render full of trends, then let's go have it. We start off with what one can consider a good and healthy trend with an artist who drew an impression of the President of the United States, Donald Trump, with a ball pen and requested helping him retweeting the artwork until it gets to the President. And as luck we have it, the President, Donald Trump, came across the portrait and encouraged the Nigerian artist to keep up the dream and never give up. In his words, Donald Trump said, Not only did I see it tagging him at docs underscore art, I think it is fantastic. You are a wonderful artist. Never give up your dreams. Woo! Congrats, bruv. Hope you are able to harness this tweet from the President of the United States into gold. <laughs> Controversial American rapper Cardi B, who was in Niger, shot down Lagos as she partied hard with fans at the strip club, spraying close to half a million naira of strippers. And at the same time, jet into a bino stores where to purchase gift items worth millions and shared amongst two motherless children orphanage homes in Lagos. I love, I like this country a lot. Let me tell you something. You want to know why I like this country? Because you you could find you find everything that you're really looking for in this country like let's say um you know this country have like tourism like if you want to like you know go to beaches and relax with your couple with your husband with your wife they have that if you're looking for culture if you want if you want to see how people are living how people make a living you have that over here, it really, it reminds me of the Caribbean island with a touch of New York because everybody is busy. Everybody's busy. Everybody's going to a place. Like, the streets are always crowded. And Though this wasn't the same, why she flew over to Accra, Ghana on Sunday as she was reported to have kept some Ghanaian celebrities waiting for hours while she was inside her hotel room eating kebab. I ask anybody that was downstairs. I was literally downstairs for like 15 minutes. I ate a little bit. Started taking pictures. This didn't go down well with most of the celebrities, like Wendy Shea, who protested. Why wait for Cardi for hours? She's Cardi B. I am Wendy Shea, a star in my own right. Mind you, she regretted making that comment anyway. But let me tell you something. When I was around the pool around 3 p.m., which was the time supposedly that the meet and greet was going on, I was in the pool and the same girls that are talking about me, on live talking about I'm this i'm that y'all saw me around the pool and it was around the time of the meet and greet so if y'all see me around the pool right and i'm chilling instead of acting so stush why don't you, stush and staring at me like if i have a piece of why don't you go up to me like hey hey what's up welcome to ghana this and that 
um welcome to Ghana, welcome to this. Do you know there's a meet and greet going on? So I could be aware. Chicago rapper Juice World died on Sunday at the Cook County Medical Facility in California, USA. It is believed the rapper was getting high on some yet undisclosed substance that led to his seizure. On his Twitter handle, the rapper can be seen being advised by a fan to desist from taking such substance as it has ruined many celebrities in the past. Anthony Higgins, popularly known as Juice World, was one of the most anticipated rappers of 2018 with his songs such as Lucid Dreams, Robbery and Celebrate, all talking about being depressed, sticking to stimulants just to get out of the situation. He was said to be flying from Chicago to California when the seizure occurred and died instantly on getting to the hospital. He was age 21. After months of protests, Having to do with Nigerian comedian Basket Mouth's inclusion in the list of European Union Ambassador for Sexual and Gender-Based Violence, the union finally dropped the comedian a week ago. This didn't deter Basket Mouth, who officially apologized on his Instagram page on how sorry he was over an inflammatory joke he once made about rape on Facebook years back. Nice one, bruv. You got such a big heart, my brother. I'm not done stalking you, it's a shame you're moving I said I'm so where I can reach you I keep your own number if you need to Self, 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 self. Now I still love you enough to need you I still need you, I still need you, man And you know I do I'm mad over you While in South Africa, rapper Nasty C and his record label were shaved with a desist letter to stop using his brand name or what we call stage name Nasty C because he doesn't own the naming rights. Can you beat that? This is a portion from what seemed to be a larger lawsuit against Nasty C and Marvel Music Records filed by the management company Free World Music for 4.5 million rands worth in damages and unpaid services which has been ongoing since 2018 when they were ordered to pay the fine, consisting of a 3.5 million rand for loss of income and an extra 1 million rand for damages by the same management company. Up with the weights I work, down with the pack I roll, up with the sack and you know that I deserve it, half and half when we split the perks, yeah the preacher man say, please remember that your savior is on the way, I still remember when the teacher man said, I wouldn't make it but I made it anyway. I remember they want me easy Right now everything is amazing When news broke to fans that the Zulu man with some power may have to give up a name he has always used since high school they were livid especially with the fact he called himself Nasty C and that was before signing any contracts This resulted to a wild reaction across South Africa and celebrities who think the verdict was rather mean and unfair Popular Gangan singer Orezi narrowly escaped death on Sunday morning while returning from an outing in Lagos. According to a video posted on Instagram, the Afrobeat singer can be heard saying, You feeling dizzy now? Eh? Huh? Oh, you know they feel dizzy? Uh, the, the bang. And before we leave here, how can we go without sharing this with you? Okay. This guy is a criminal. They have been constituting two policemen and the police have looked for him. They have been making trouble in this area. If I this is, that one is Professor Hindu, Professor Hindu doesn't make trouble. This one is a criminal. He always comes to this store and party here things. So that's why we, we want to let you in. Ah, you the film? Quiet. Will you see the gate? Can he be serious? Monkey going through capital punishment? He better watch out for cruelty against animal movement too. <laughs> if you know what I mean. There you go. Crazy trains, man. Back to back, yo. Back to back. And it never stops because you have so many of them on our social media space. If only time we are lost, but hey, we are cool with this man. No to tell him. Now check this. Alamide is furious. It's furious over the way and manner. Nigerian music industry has been so polarized with politics and he's saying take politics off our music industry we don't want it you know I don't call it good let's be honest this award belongs to Lil Cash because Lil Cash is our next rated artist Papa Yaya Street is takeover and single was a hit back to back 
from lyrically to shocky to FS Joku, could he daffle ya anybody? Now, that is one side of Alamide you don't want to see in a hurry when he's pissed. And that was the exact mode he was. Weeks ago, at an event in Lagos, tagged Red TV by UBA, where he called out the Nigerian music industry to stop politicizing music in Nigeria. According to Olamide, Nigerian music labels should start supporting real, genuine young talents and put their servant interests aside. He described it in his words as stupid F word music politics. What are the music lovers to continue supporting real talents like his label signed on artist Fireboy, who a few days back released his very first album, LTG, which stands for Laughter, Tears, and Goosebumps. I need you to change the narrative. All we stand for, all we represent, is the change. And I need you guys to break that barrier of that f***ing stupid uh, industry politics. Whereby, if you don't have anybody supporting you, you don't, they don't nobody want to hear you. But I'm out here for fire and blood. And fire and blood is a real talent. Now, who was he taking shots at? Maybe not who, but the fact remains, as man is a political animal by nature, there will always be politics in the music industry. But how it's played should be the bone of contention, frustrating every other content outside Lagos, be it brands, movies, name it, is a mean politics in itself and needs to be addressed, corrected at all costs. Talents, no matter where it's based, should be encouraged and harnessed and not allowed to decay until it migrates to Lagos. For Olamide's outburst, it is the right step in the right direction, for it will likely hit the right quarters and trigger a call for restructuring in the music industry in order to carry along the teeming talented young Nigerian artists scattered all across the country. Okay, first is first, let it begin from home. We all should put hands on deck and ensure that politics is off the table so we can keep enjoying our good music, our good sound, after beats, and what a view. So to trade on night TV, one bus stop you don't want to mention the hurry every Thursday and Sunday. Now let's go check out what I call my top five trends right here on the show. Desire, hit it. Top five trending videos of the week. Top 5 Trending Videos of the Week Where is Jesus from? Bet Where is Jesus from? Bet Top 5 Trending Videos of the Week Get to the finish line! <laughs> okay, is she going to be too late or will she pass her up? Who's it going to be? Oh. Oh. Here you go. oh, it's obviously a play day down here on the... Oh. Top 5 Trending Videos of the Week <laughs> Trending videos of the week. Hello, everybody! I can see everything turning around! Turning around! I have never loved traffic so much in my life before. If you are currently in Lake Ikoili traffic, God, I am! Someone left your hotspot on! Brother, I love traffic! You love, I love it too! 
country. Yeah, I've downloaded four films. Everything I've downloaded is 62 gigs. 62 gigs. He did not put password. <laughs> I love traffic. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. <laughs> hey, God. Another film is downloading. Hey, this film alone is 9 gigs. Hey, God. You two, they bless me. Oh. I love traffic. So, son of God, whoever you are, God will bless you. Top 5 trending videos of the week. How else can I step off the stage without dropping on you, my goof of the week? <laughs> Impossible. Let go. Goof of the week. I have your breakfast. <laughs> ah! Jesus! Oh, hey! I hear you. I'm sorry. 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 I'm Oh boy, some things people do sometimes, man. It makes you wonder if they're actually okay or something, right? Hence, we have this spot right here on the show we call Goof of the Week. Some people don't just know when they goof for real. They just goof. They just goof like boom before they realize, oh my god, I've goofed, man. <laughs> That's life for you. Now, this is our wrap of the show. I must thank you so much for being part of Soda Train today on ITV. Don't forget to hurry. It hits you every Thursday on our Sunday broadcasts. On Go Television 107, start times 130 at 4.30 p.m. every Thursday. They have a repeat broadcast. For those that miss the show on satellite, on a terrestrial broadcast, you sit back with us on Sundays at 1.30 and check out the show all over again. My name is Sidney Shocker, man. I keep telling you guys, right? If there's anything you want to share with us, you want the world to know, you do, services and all of that, go check my people. Go talk to my people and bring it on board. And believe me, you, it's going to trend. No to tell, y'all. Christmas is by the corner. I wish you guys a wonderful holiday and a wonderful Christmas loading, if you know what I mean. That's how it's been said on social media. <laughs>